What is up, guys? Argue back again with another fantasy hockey episode. And at the top, we got Nick Cage pretty much running away with at 2:30. Um, 12 points on second place. We got Ferda Benders down there in last place with 191, falling behind. That ass is kind of still in it, but um, let's just take a look at Nick Cage's team here and what's going on. See, he doesn't really have too many guys with super high points. He's just got a super consistent team besides goaltending. Uh, Voracek leading his team with 24 points, more than Giroux. Who would have expected that? Um... And then like 17, 15, 15, 15, 12, 16, 11, all pretty equal. Only players I could pick it up is Sajak, uh, Delzato defenseman, not too bad. Uh, he just switched in David Clarkson, hasn't done much since he switched him in. And then TG Oshi with 8 points. Now, we had a really close grind here uh, two days ago. And then last night they picked up a lot of points. I'll f I fell behind. And I'm, I might be trailing Evgeny Melkin out. Now, do I keep him in or do I trade him? Do I drop him off, boys? This is the big question. How long is he going to be out for? As you see, my team isn't as high in the averages. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 13, 10, 9, 14, 15, 15, 8, 22, 21, 17, 5. Marlo just blown it ever since I picked him up. But really, I got Datsuk and Melkin leading my team. With Melkin out, that's a big point producer gone. And I really don't know what to do. They said at least three games, but you know, with with a concussion, he might be gone for two weeks, a month, two months, three months. Who knows? It's a big question, and I need your guys' input. Should I drop him, or should I take the risk and keep him in? If you look at the handy Andy's here, um, he's pretty much a handy. He had a lot of guys out, and he didn't swap anyone. He finally swapped out Carlson. He had him in there for the longest time. Tarasenko's out. Hasn't swapped him out. Um... Anyone else injured here? I'm not too sure. Verbat is injured, I believe, too. Hasn't switched him out. But um, he's still ahead of me <laughs> with all these injured players. Stamkos putting up 30 points, really carrying the team. Other than that, you drop down to, like, 19, 17, 13, 12, 11. Back down to, like, my average, kind of. So he's really, you know, injuries are really hitting him, but he's got uh, Stamkos keeping him in it. Close rates for second and third. We've got Big Nick and the B-52s with Sidney Crosby at 30 points. Zetterberg at 25. So he's got two big point producers. Goaltenders not doing much at all. Um, otherwise, got 18. Ryan Getzlav, Eric Stahl, 19. So not too bad. 15. A couple guys. Garrison with 4. Mike Green with 7. Eric Cole with 6. Now got traded. So maybe he'll get some more points in Dallas. Who knows? Uh, swapping over to the Chaws, who should not be here, but his team is taking off somehow. John Tavares with 25 points. Patrick Kane, 24. James Neal, 20. You would expect those guys to get points, but you guys got, like, Kimo Timonen putting up 13 points. Pretty solid. Timo Solani, 16. Solid. Blake Wheeler, 16. Solid. But, yeah, he's got, like, three guys in the 20s there that's really helping him pull it out. His goalies have 10 points each, which is huge as well. So he's doing pretty well. Other than that, that's another episode, but guys, I need your input on Melkin. What should I do with him? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. It's been Argue.